Hi everyone, I'm Steven and today I'm using cardboard to make the Iron Man arc reactor from Iron Man 2. Let's jump right into it. So I figured you guys would want a template for this project, so I made one off camera and the link to it is in the description of this video. Each of these circles needs to get traced onto cereal box cardboard. Because the pieces are going to have lots of thin lines that are going to be a little wobbly, I took the circles, taped them onto cereal box cardboard, and used a very sharp utility knife to cut the insides out first before using scissors to cut out the outside of the circle. Cutting out the inside first is easiest because the cardboard remains sturdy. All of these circles were cut out the exact same way, so I finished up off camera until I had a stack of them ready to go. They're going to get layered together in order to give the top of the arc reactor a little bit of depth. The bottom cardboard piece needed a little bit of decoration, so I super glued on tiny little strips on the outside edges of these little jut out doodads. It's kind of hard to see, so let me put it in front of a piece of white computer paper so you can see it better. Hopefully that helps. Anyway, I used regular white glue to glue together the cardboard layers. White glue allowed me to shift and move the pieces into place without worrying that it'll dry immediately as I had used uh, super glue or hot glue. But yeah, I glued the two bottom pieces together and then the two top pieces together and then added the three embellishment pieces to the top of the top piece. These are just thin cardboard rectangles that I use to help prevent the arc reactor from looking too flat. It just gives it a little bit of dimension. It's kind of hard to see, so I'll freeze frame it for you guys. See? One, two, three. To make a fake shiny lens, I used a plastic lid off of a tub of salad. I traced a circle onto it, cut it out, and gently roughed up the back side with sandpaper before painting the rough side in a watered-down blue craft paint. Sanding it helps diffuse the light and hide the light source, but if you don't have sandpaper, you can just glue a layer of wax paper underneath the blue plastic in order to get the same effect. I also cut out another lens, but I can't seem to find the footage. I must have deleted it, and I kept the second lens clear and paint free. So just a blue lens and then a clear lens. While the paint on the first lens dried, I cut out a tiny little triangle of wax paper for the middle triangle of the arc reactor. Once again, this is just to add a little bit of depth and some character to the top of it so it doesn't look too flat. The cardboard was then painted in black craft paint and two coats of metallic silver craft paint. When the paint dried, I glued in that little wax paper triangle. At this point, I also decided to paint on another layer of blue onto the lens. However, if you make this arc reactor, feel free to skip the second paint layer. I ended up not liking the darker, uh, more opaque blue, so I ended up rubbing it off and kept just the one light layer. So for the light, you could totally just use a push light that you can get at the dollar store for a buck, but I had an extra LED color changing light that I picked up from Five Below when I made the pumpkin bomb. It was only five bucks and it comes with a remote, and yeah, that's what I used. A one dollar light would be really great too, it just wouldn't have a remote, and I like having a remote. Anyway, I cut a donut out of cereal box cardboard so the bottom of the light could kind of fit in that hole and be exposed um, and this would allow me to access the batteries when the batteries eventually go out. The cereal box cardboard felt a little flimsy when I put it on the light so I decided to make it out of corrugated cardboard instead and when that was done I hot glued the light into the center of this little donut um, with the bottom poking out of the hole. For the walls of the arc reactor, I added a strip of cereal box cardboard to the outside rim. To help reflect light on the inside, I glued aluminum foil all around the light and up the inside of the walls. This shiny, crinkly surface is just going to help make it a little bit brighter. But once I did that, I realized that my arc reactor was looking a little thick, so I measured around the edges and cut it down to about 1.1 inch. You could totally make yours thinner if you want, but that's the thickness I ended up using. 
For some final touches, I glued a scrap of white computer paper to the bottom side of the center triangle. It just wasn't looking white enough um, with just the wax paper, so the computer paper just helped make it look a little bit whiter. It was then time to assemble everything, and I sandwiched the clear plastic lens between the bottom and top cardboard layers, and then I glued the blue lens, shiny side up, onto the light. And then I put that layered cardboard design on top of that. Here's a diagram of what the layers look like. I hope it helps. So as you can see at the bottom, it's the blue lens, then the bottom layer cardboard, then the clear lens, then the top layer cardboard. And hopefully that helps. Oh, and if all this sounds kind of unnecessary and like extra work, in my opinion, all these layers gives the arc reactor some depth and helps make it look a little bit less like a cardboard craft and more like an actual gadget or prop. Um, I don't know, I like it. When that was done, I painted the outside cardboard in two coats of black craft paint, and then all of the cardboard, including the top layer, in about four or five coats of metallic silver craft paint. But you'll see what it looks like in a second. So there you have it, an Iron Man arc reactor made from cereal box cardboard and scrap plastic. This video has been requested a bunch of times, so I hope you guys like it. Here's what it looks like with the regular light, and then the blue. My favorite is with the regular light. This may be an unpopular opinion, but this arc reactor design is actually my favorite one. I like the simplicity with the triangles, um, I think it's kind of cool. If you wanted to wear it, you could add a bunch of hook and loop to the back and to your shirt, or just hot glue it into a hole that you cut out of your shirt. As for me, I'm going to use it as a nightlight in my bathroom. Anyway, um, yeah, I like it, and I'm sorry that the footage of the clear lens got lost. I must have deleted it because it was clear and kind of hard to see, and I didn't um, remember that it was actually part of the build. But yeah, feel free to ask any questions, and I'll try my best to answer them in the comments below. And please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.